This is Smine. She's a lovely 31 feet sea otter cruiser stern, built in 2006. The gas lockers in the bows there, there are three five kilo bottles in there. Sea otters are made of aluminium and as such there's no hull corrosion. When you buy an original they guaranteed the hull for life. That guarantee doesn't change with the ownership changes but that's their mission statement. So they don't need to come out of the water every two or three years for blacking. And the idea is that they float or lift onto a trailer and you can go anywhere in the country or Europe to cruise your desired canals. The engine's under there, that's a Nanny 21 horsepower, squeaky clean the engine room, there's a photograph of that on our website on the brochure. The paintwork's in fabulous condition and she's very neat and tidy. In we go, she's fitted out in ash, so she's very light and airy. We'll come back to this, but there's a single dinette on the starboard side and the galley on the left. I'll just show you some of the storage. The storage on this boat is phenomenal given that nearly 10 feet of it are front and back decks. There's a hanging locker in there, which actually joins with this cupboard. Shelving at the forward end of it, and there's a hanging rail over. And opposite is the bathroom. It's a wet room arrangement. The sink is there. There's a light over that. And the tap extends to hang in the bracket on the wall there for the shower. The loo itself is a Thetford cassette. Two cassettes on board. The ballast on these boats is very clever. What, what makes them unique and transportable on a trailer? The ballast is water. So when you put it in the water, the whole compartment fills with one and a half tonnes. And when you take them out of the water, that will drain. So you can take her off and go and try somewhere else. This is the dinette I mentioned, that converts into a single berth and there's also a bunk bed. The board is stowed cleverly under here and it slots into these brackets either end. So the galley's opposite, good size cupboard here. The cooker itself is a spin flow caprice, four burner gas hob, separate grilling oven, very very clean and shiny. And the sink is next to it. Lovely worktops, I think they're Corian, with lots of storage underneath. Head height in the boat, well I think of it, is six foot two. And the fridge itself is a 12 volt shoreline with an ice box. Another cupboard up there. Lighting on board is half LED and half halogens, a 22 inch wall mounted television. And under that is the Kenwood CD radio and a bank of four drawers. And that's a dining table, very neatly stowed, which goes in between these sofas. There's acres of storage underneath these. And these make up in less than a minute into a huge double bed. I made them up for the photograph. There's a photograph of it made up in the brochure, as with the bunk beds actually, but it's so quick. The bunk beds take less than a minute as well. The well deck's a good size, nearly four feet long. The storage under those lockers. The central heating on board is a gas-fired hot air system. That's a Houdini hatch there I didn't mention. And the hot water is heated by the engine, and if you're hooked up to landline, there is an immersion heater. She's a lovely boat, lovely holiday boat, extended cruising. There's no reason really why you couldn't live on her. So that's Smine. There's the view from the helmsman's position. For further photographs, fully downloadable colour brochure and the price, go to our website www.rugbyboats.co.uk.